Um, I got a few things in here that's going to help me with cooking a cake. We're going to cook a chocolate banana pudding cake. And we've already uh, cooked the cake already. And she's going to tell you what ingredients to put in the cake. The ingredients? Well, first let me start out by saying the name of the cake. It's classic yellow cake and it's Duncan, it's Duncan Hines. And instead of us using um, chocolate frosting, we're going to use chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. and that's the pudding box. And also, um, you can also make um, chocolate pudding pie out of the same pudding, so if you want to do that. And this is how the outside look, I mean the inside that goes inside the box. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. And you will need three, three big large eggs and a cup of water. And you will need one third of vegetable oil. Then after that, if if you have a metal and glass pan, you will put you will warm it up on 350. And if you have a dark and coated pan, you will warm it up on 325. And also, what we used is a rectangle. Um, baking pan and that's how we got the shape and also you can use the milk instead of the water if you prefer and we used bananas you're going to need at least four to five bananas depending on how many how much banana you want in the center of the cake but we're going to put it on each um and this one. is how it looks each layer after we added everything to the now that's the pudding, pudding. And we put uh, milk in it. We put one cup of and milk. You don't want it. Oh, just one cup of milk. You don't want it too soupy. You want it just about like this. You want it thick. Thick consistency. And what you would do when you use this pudding, when you put, when you put, you're gonna put this in, the pudding in, and you put the milk in, and you just keep stirring until all of the lumps is out. Okay, once the lumps is out, then you put it in the refrigerator for five minutes, let it set, and it should look like this, and it should be consistent. Okay, that's, that's about all the ingredients, right? Oh, we forgot the um, cooking oil, which is... I said it. You said it already? Oh, she already said about the cooking oil, so make sure you put the cooking oil in, or the cake won't be moist, because that's what makes it moist. And it might it's stick the, to the pan. Yeah. yeah. And before you put the pan in, make sure you put a little bit of oil around the edges and in the center and let it sit in the um, oven so that it won't stick. But that's a pretty good pan, so it shouldn't stick. But when you take the cake out, be sure to let it rest a little bit. And then that way, you can it'll just pop right out. It'll come right out like this. And then... Another thing that we've done, that we did, is we cut the top layer off. As you can see here, it's cut off. And that's why it doesn't look like this. And we turned this one over. Now, the way we got each one of these cakes is we poured the cake mix in. Uh, the first time, we did it like halfway. We poured half of the batter in. And then we put it in the oven and we let it stay for like an hour until it came to brown to on the type light brown on top and it, you need to fill it and you can tell that it's done. But it should be done after say an hour. It should be done about an hour and a half. If you see some soft spots, that means it's not done. But I did that for each layer. Now you have to this is gonna take a little while to make. Uh, I would say about hmm, three hours. Give yourself about three and a half hours to do to make this. Um, and once you 
uh, do one and flip it out. You want to go to the second one and do and you pour the batter again halfway, about there. And then you do another one the same way until you have three. Or you can put in three square pans. But I just did that because I only have this one square pan. But if you have three square pans, then you can just go ahead and um, put uh, the batter in each one of the rectangle pans. Okay, enough about that. We got the bananas. We're going to start with cutting the bananas. So let's get started. Yay, let's get started. Now don't eat the bananas. <laughs> She's quiet today. Cutting out bananas now. I managed to like, cut her bananas. See, I also got the bananas. If you want to put it all over, you you may want to do it. Big, this is the oh, go ahead. Or <laughs> you may want to do it small, like this one. However you want to do it is fine. But what we're gonna do is place the bananas onto the cake. Once you have all of the bananas, okay, but anyways, so you can see what we're doing. That's how it looks. You just keep going till you have all of the bananas on the cake. Now you can do cherries, you can do whatever fruit you want to do, but right now I am doing, we're doing a uh, Now that we have the bananas here, we're going to add chocolate. Go ahead and I'm going to let you spread the chocolate onto the bananas. She's going to spread the chocolate all over the bananas. Make sure your hands is clean before. Yeah, make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> you can put a little bit or you can put a lot, whichever way you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. Now, you can add whipped cream a little bit, or you can add uh, white icing to it, whatever you want to add. Okay, so I'm almost done spreading it. You want to make sure you get all over. I think I'm going to need some more pudding. Just go ahead and do it that way. That'll be fine. Okay. That good. That's good. Now, we're going to go ahead and put some more bananas on this one. Let's see. I'm going to turn it this way. Good job. Okay. Now, smash it down just a little bit so it can come out on the sides. And this is going to be the last one. This one is just going to be bananas, just plain bananas. And I say about three bananas should be enough. We have several bananas here, but three bananas is fine. Put this on top 
and mash it down. And I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see the three layers. And now we're going to start adding the pudding again. You have to go really slow with this because you don't want to tear the cake. And you probably want to edge it up on the side. And the way we're going to do this is, well, I better do this one. <laughs> okay, you take some of the, back, the pudding and you just want to go on the side like this. And this is a good way to keep the kids from eating too much of the pudding. You know, you want, well, it's still sweet anyway, but, you know, sometimes they put too much icing. But we're not using icing, we're using pudding, which is a little bit better. But, I mean, it's still sweet, so. And you just keep going. You want to try it? Yes. You trying it? Okay. Well, I'm going to do this side, and I'll let you do this the other side. Fair. Fair. Fair enough. Okay. Now we got this side, and she's gonna do the front. Okay. Let you do the front. And you don't have to put a lot. And the, the trick about this is, do not um, rub it too hard or it'll, it'll come off. The um, icing won't, I mean not the icing, but the pudding will not, I mean um, the cake will tear if you go too, too uh, fast. So you have to go kind of slow. I mean, not the icing, but the pudding. pudding all over. Maybe not all over, but in the front of the cake. In the sides. Yep, the sides. How does this look, Shadaria? Um, it look good? Let's see. You want to try? Mm -hmm. Come on. You want to show her? Yes. She's going to show her how to do it. Continue to put it on. Now this is the last step right here. Now we're not putting a lot, we're just putting a little bit because we already have a cake that's sweet. So we don't want a lot of this pudding, but we do want to get the pudding taste. So you just keep going until all the pudding is all, all, the over, the cake. all over the cake. Right? Okay. Go ahead and chop up some more bananas. We're going to put a banana in the middle. And then that's going to be it. This takes about three or four hours. So be prepared to take some time with your family. Right? Right, guys? Yes. And cook a cake. Now we got to finish up this other side. Go ahead and put the bananas on. Okay. Just one. What how many you want to put? And that should area put one. Right here. 
fraction area. She's putting on one too. Okay. Well, I said three bananas, but looks like it's going to be four. Because <laughs> uh, they want to put bananas more than one. More than one banana on top. Okay, you can't put the table. Put it on there. Oh my god. Okay. Go ahead. Y'all go at it. You gonna put it on? There you go. Now she put the end. Usually you don't use the end, but I guess we're gonna do that today. Now you can make little faces. Let's see if we can make a dot. You think you can make a dot? Let's see if we can make a dot. Where are we gonna make the dot at? Hmm. You wanna make a dot somewhere? Like the eyes? That's enough bananas. So let's try to make We didn't plan this one. <laughs> but I think they want to be a little creative. There we go, there's a little dot. I don't know if I can put the dot the same way. Try it. Ugh. Come on now. Do this. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. We got the What's dot. Good? And now we're going to try to put a nose. Okay. That looks like a face, doesn't it? All right. Okay, guys, what we're going to say now. Bye. Bye. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope and you make subscribe. sure you subscribe.